Hi guys, welcome to Bookie's Kitchen News. In the last videos, I talked about showing you how to make five Nigerian soups. And today I'm showing you how to make a fori roll. This is one of my absolute favorites because it consists of vegetables, um, shoko and uh, ugu leaves. Now, if you want to see how I've done it, please keep watching. So guys, we're making a foro today and these are the things you need. You need some vegetables, this is shoko with a little ugu leaves in it. Um, you need some peppers, tatashe, onions, fresh pepper and some shombo, no tomatoes. And we'll need um, this, you can use pretty much whatever you have. I'm using pomo, shaki and some crabs. This is um, dried fish some locust beans, which we call iru, some stock cubes, palm oil, crayfish, and some salt. That's all we're going to need, so let's get started. So in a pot, you want to start first by putting some oil. This is um, about two cooking spoons of palm oil. And you do this over medium heat. You don't want the oil bleached and you don't want it way too hot otherwise it becomes smoky and while you're cooking with palm oil make sure to leave your windows open so that the whole place is aerated now that the oil is hot we'll put in some chopped onions and we'll fry that till it's translucent which will take about 30 seconds to one minute you can see it's turned translucent now this is when you want to put in your blended peppers. I've blended it so that it's not too smooth. I like it this way, it's fast and you find that when the eforero is ready, um, you see the specks of the red pepper in it, which I quite like. Next, you put in the locust beans, the iru. and you let this cook for about five minutes. So I'll put the lid back on the pot and let this cook for about five minutes. Then I'll add my seasonings and then we'll get on with the rest of it. So this has been cooking for about five minutes now. Next, I'm going to put the dried fish in it. Uh, the stock cubes, I'll start with two and then I'll taste, but this should be more than fine. The stock cubes, the crayfish, and just a pinch of salt. And we stir this. So we still need to cook it a bit longer to soften the dried fish a little bit more and for the oil to sort of come to the top. And then we know it's ready for the other stuff. I'll let it simmer now for another minute and a half. Then I'll put the meats in. A forero is one of the uh, interesting things that I like to eat because it goes with pretty much anything. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it with swallow, you can have it with yams and boiled plantains. It's very versatile and it's one of the things, at least in one week, you would cook maybe once or twice. Well, for me, that's what I do. I cook it once or twice in a week. And because it's vegetables, which is just really good for it, it's high in iron and vitamin C and A, it's great stuff. Um, this has been cooking for one minute now. So I'll put the meats in. I'll put the shaki and the pomo first, and then I'll put the crabs later. I'll cover it for three minutes and let the meat soak up all the juice from the peppers. I wish you could smell it. It smells absolutely delicious. I think it's the iru in it that gives it that fragrant smell, plus the fried onions and the palm oil. It's just absolutely delightful. I wish you could smell it. I can't wait to have lunch. Okay, this has been cooking for a few minutes now. I'll throw the crabs in. Of course, you don't have to use crabs, um, but I like crabs, so I'm going to put crabs. And they're in season now, so you find a lot of them out, which is quite nice. So I'll just cook the crabs in the sauce. I'll let it soak up for one minute, 
and then I put my vegetables in. Um, when you're making a fori roll, it doesn't have to be too liquidy. You want to sort of keep frying the pepper mixture until most of the water evaporates because it's not supposed to have um, a lot of water, but you can uh, put the beef stock or the whatever stock you have just to loosen it up a bit. Try not to use water as much as possible. Use the stock instead for the flavor if you have to. Um, let me leave this covered for a minute now and then I'll put my vegetables in. So it's been cooking for um, a couple of minutes now. I'll just stir it in. Everything is nice and tender. All the meats have soaked up the juices. Next I'll add my vegetables in. Of course you can use spinach if you if that's your preference. Um, I just this is how my mom used to make it and this is what I grew up um, using to cook a forero but nowadays people have used different vegetables to make it and it's still always nice. Um, of course cooking is about personal preference you can always switch up some recipes change it up and adapt it to the way that you like it so you would find that the way one person makes their food is not the way another person makes it which is fine um, I'll stir this in now and just incorporate it with the The look of this, the red and the green, the crabs peeping out, the shaki, and this is my favorite type of shaki. There's the other one that's really thick, which is nice, but this just looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that one. Oh god. Okay, so I'll cover the pot now and let the vegetables steam for two minutes and our eforero is ready. So the eforero is ready and this is what it looks like. If you notice, it's not as thick as it was before. This is because the vegetable releases its own water, which is why you don't want to start off putting a lot of water in it and you want to make the pepper mixture dry up a little bit before you put your um, crabs and whatever in it. Um. So guys, this is what my Eforero looks like. Um, I hope you try this recipe. And if you do, if you have any questions, you can leave me comments in the comment section and I'll respond as quickly as I can. If you like this video, please click the like buttons and give me a thumbs up. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already done that because that's the only way that you can see, you can get notifications for my videos when they come out. This comes out every week. Please like and comment and leave me your questions and your suggestions and I'll respond to them. Thank you for watching. Bon appetit.